Hi, and welcome back to Stamp with Anna. Today I'm going to show you another card. We made a card class where we were playing with Stampin' Up's vellum, uh, cardstock vellum. And um, this is, it looks a lot more complicated than it is. It's a beautiful card. It's using the vellum as an overlay. And the vellum is so sturdy that it actually can hold a card up. So it's, it's cardstock quality. So you can see um, just how nicely it holds it up. This looks a whole lot more complicated than it is. So um, the stamp, the sentiment, and the butterfly come from this stamp set, Beautiful Day. So what we need for paper is a piece of vellum four and a quarter by eleven scored at five and a half we need a piece of black which is two and three quarters by eleven scored at five and a half and we will need to trim that a bit i wanted to keep it at the full length because i didn't want to over trim it and then i have white two and five eighths by five and a quarter now for this we do need our uh, stamparatus and what i've done <coughs> excuse me is i went ahead and with some washi tape, made myself some guides where I was going to place my stamp. So the way I did that was I have my, there really was no, no great mathematical way I did this. I took my vellum and I placed it on my stamparatus. Okay. And... I made I put down a piece of washi tape where I wanted my vellum card to end. Now I couldn't butt it up against this. Um, well, I guess I could have, but I didn't. <laughs> so let me just fix this a tad. So you can see the left side of my card is up against that piece of cardstock. Then I took my white piece that I'm going to stamp on and I wanted to center it between here and here and what I did was I counted squares there's half one two three three and a half on this side half one two three three and a half on this side and there's where I put my other piece of um, washi tape it's a little marked up because we did use it at class so that's what I'm using as my basis. So once I had that done, I took my oh, wrong stamp. I took my butterfly and I placed it where I wanted it to, where I wanted it to be and it's going to be go off of the white. So I'm going to place this right here. I do want it kind of centered side to side. Okay? And then I also we did this in two steps in class, but we're going to do it all in one step. We did it two steps simply because we were sharing stamp, a stamp apparatus, and I wanted um, things to move quickly. So I'm going to place that right there, and I'm going to bring my plate down, and now my stamps are where they need to be. So now I'm going to secure just my vellum. Okay, I'm going to put these magnets are so, so strong. I'm going to put it here. I want to make sure that it's not going to interfere with my butterfly. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Versamark ink and I'm going to, let me bring this into the camera. I'm going to stamp up my stamps really, really well with my Versamark. So now I'm going to take this down and I'm going to stamp on my vellum and I'm going to press really really hard to make sure I got a really crisp image now I'm going to look at it before I take it off I'm going to make sure I got nice coverage and I did so now I'm going to take this off I'm going to move it off to the side and I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper and I can see that I got a little bit of Versamark ink there that's all right I'm going to come in with my gold powder and I'm going to sprinkle this on my butterfly. My gold embossing powder, I should specify. And 
I'm going to flick it. And one thing I noticed I forgot to do, which I always forget to do, is use my embossing buddy. So I'm going to shake this back into my container. And I'm going to bring in my little paintbrush. And I'm going to clean up any gold embossing powder that has gotten that has gone astray because I didn't use my embossing buddy. Okay. So I just smudged a little piece there. I'm going to dab some more right there. Okay, so there is my embossed butterfly, and I'm going to bring in my heat tool, and I'm going to just heat that up. And this gold just comes out absolutely beautiful. It is such a gorgeous, gorgeous embossing powder. And I'm not going to have you watch me emboss the whole thing. I just want to show you how it's starting to melt. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it is going fast enough. I will just have you watch the whole thing. <laughs> It's just so beautiful when it's embossed. Just the last couple places. And there we go. This is our overlay. It's all embossed. So what I'm going to do is put that aside. Now I'm going to bring my Stamparatus back in. And I don't need that always thinking of you. So I'm just going to take that off. Now I'm going to bring in my white piece of paper. And I'm going to line that up with this um, edge of the washi tape. And what I did find yesterday at class, that the ladies were having a hard time lining things up. And I thought, if I brought this down just a tad, I might end up with just the right size uh, black border that I want. And you'll see what I mean when I'm done. So I'm going to line that up against... Oh. Again, these magnets are just so strong. I'm going to drop it down... Oh probably an eighth of an inch and then I'm going to oh, turn it over a little smudge on my paper all right okay now with my black memento I'm going to ink up my butterfly and this memento is a felt pad so I just rub it over my butterfly now I am going to get it here and I'm also going to get it on my Stamparatus, and that's okay because it washes really clean. So I'm going to press that down, I'm going to lift it up, and it's it's dark enough. I like that. So now I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to color it, and I'm going to color it using my stamping blends. And I have Dark Daffodil Delight, Dark Flirty Flamingo, Dark Real Red, and Light um, rich Razzleberry. And you can make your pattern any way you want. There's really no rhyme or reason. There's no right way. There's no right colors. It's whatever you want. And I'm just going to copy the one that I already have done. Why reinvent the wheel, right? Okay, there's my yellow. 
and take my real red. And these Stampin' Blends are just so smooth to work with. They just glide gorgeously on your project. No need to struggle and press down real hard. I just want to put a piece of scrap paper on there. If you could just feel how smooth they go. I'm going to take my rich raspberry. Isn't that beautiful? I just love these. I'm still building my collection. I used to really um, struggle with coloring. It's supposed to um, calm you and be good for you, but it used to cause me such anxiety. I'm, I'm getting the hang of it now, though, so it doesn't bother me as much. And I think because I have the right tools... It makes it so much more enjoyable for me. The ladies at my class will tell you. We would never color because I would get too anxious. And there's my butterfly. Isn't she beautiful? Okay, so now what we have to do, the first thing we're going to do is we're not mounting this on the black. Nope, nope, nope. The first thing we're going to do is mount the black onto our embossed vellum. Now, this is going to show on the back, right here, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my silicone mat, and I'm going to make myself a pile of glue. And with a sponge, quartered sponge, I'm going to, very lightly, because it will show if you do too much, now lightly, oh, it might be a little heavy, I'm going to lightly apply this glue to the back of my card. Like I said, you, it, uh, I did go a little heavy here, so we will probably see some streaks on my card. But that's all right, it's on the back. And it gives it character, I guess, right? Scooch that out of the way. <clears throat> I just want to dry some of this up. Now I'm going to place this in my card. But before I press it down, I'm going to bring this up as high as I can. And I'm going to center it from side to side. I want to make sure that that is centered right. Otherwise, my... Um, my stamped piece won't be won't look right. So here's my ruler. I have seven eighths on this side and not quite seven eighths on that side. So I'm going to scooch this over just a tad. I'm just going to keeping it right there I'm going to push it up to the score line and now I'm going to press down okay and there we go now it does stick out here like I said it was going to stick out and we're just going to trim that but I didn't want to trim it too much because depending on how high you were actually able to get it up there um, it would make a difference on how much you needed to trim so now I'm going to take my white piece and I'm going to apply some snail to it. And I want it, I want to have a bit of a black border. So I'm going to be able to see right through where my butterfly is. I have. Drop 
that down just a tad. This is the, actually the hardest part is lining is getting your border in there nicely. Okay, now I can see I have a border the way I like it. I moved it. As I went to close my card, I moved it. Now one of the things I also told the ladies, if it's not perfect, which my first card wasn't, I'm going to show you my sample. If it's not perfect, I don't mind having that little black shadow. It's like a shadow on the towards the right of my stamped image. That doesn't bother me. I think it gives the card nice um, a nice touch. Okay, so I'm going to close that down. And there we go. Now, I do have to trim this here. And I'm going to use my guillotine cutter for that. I'll do it when, we, when I go off air. And, um, and see, as you can see here, I wasn't lined up perfectly, but I kind of like that black shadow off to the right. And I think it just it, it just adds something nice to it. So there's the card, there's the front, there's the overlay. There's the pretty butterfly. And then I would put another piece of white in there where I can write my um, write my sentiment. So there's another way to use your beautiful vellum paper. And it's to use it as an overlay. And like I said, this looks a lot more hard than it is um, once you just line up where you want your... Um, you line up your washi tape as your guide. So if you have any questions about this project or any of the products I've used, please contact me through my blog, www.stampwithanna.blogspot.com. And I hope you'll give um, Vellum a try. It is a, really is a great, great um, resource. Thanks. Bye-bye.